Okay, uh, we're going to look at uh, solving a linear system by graphing because that's on the test tomorrow and it's something we haven't went over in a little while. Uh, so I picked this question here. Um, this is just a, a, a linear system. We have y equals 2x plus 3 and we have another equation y equals 4x minus 1 and together they form a system of equations, right? We've talked about that. So to solve this system of equations, what we need to do is find the intersection point of these two lines. We know three methods for doing that. One is graphing, one is using substitution, and one is using elimination. On the test tomorrow, I'm going to get you to graph a system of equations. And we're going to graph by using the two equations here that are given by uh, graphing. So you're going to have to, well, there will be graph paper on the test. <clears throat> Unfortunately, the graph paper that I, I don't have graph paper on this particular app, so it's going to be a little bit rough, but you'll get the main, main point. Um, the first thing you want to do is you want to graph the y-intercept of the equation. You can see I'm circling the 3 in the first equation. That is the y-intercept. So I want to go up to 3 on the y-axis and put a point there. The next thing you're going to do is you're going to graph the slope. You can see that this slope is a fraction, 2 over 1. Every whole number is a fraction. There's an invisible 1 underneath it. And the reason why we want to put that 1 underneath it, because we know that slope is rise over run. Slope is always a fraction, rise over run. So what we're going to do on our graph we're going to start from the point 3 on our graph and we're going to rise 2 and we're going to run 1 and that becomes our new coordinate. And what you would be doing on the test of course is counting grids. I don't have grids to count so when I'm saying rise 1 here I'm referring to uh, from the red point there I'm referring to going up one grid up the second grid and then I'm talking about going right one whole grid. So you can see that I'm rising two and running one and there's my slope. So what I would do then, once I have the two points drawn, I'd get out my ruler and very neatly graph my line. Put arrows on the end like I've done and label the line that I've just graphed. Okay, so there's one equation. The next equation, as you can see, is y equals 4x minus 1. I'm going to do the same thing. I need to graph the y-intercept. In this case, it's a negative 1. So I'm going to go down 1 on the y-axis and put a point there. That's one point on my line. The other point is a, is a slope, or comes from the slope. Rise 4, run 1. So from this blue point, you can see my blue dot on the graph now. I'm going to rise 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, and I'm going to run 1. So there's my next uh, two points that now I can draw a line through using a ruler as neatly as possible. Mine is not neat, it's a curve. Anyway, you get the idea, put arrows on the end, label your line, and you find the intersection point. So the intersection point will be a nice clear grid mark on tomorrow's test, so you can't make any mistakes. You'll be able to line it up with the x-axis and the y-axis and label your point. Okay, so the answer for this one should be x equals 2, y equals 7. And like I said, I should be able to just read that right off of my graph if I've done it accurately with a ruler <clears throat> very neatly.